Hi everyone, today's video is going to be a little bit different for me because I haven't really got a plan of how this is going to go and I'm kind of just winging it. It's not a vlog and it's not a fancy planned out kind of main video. I think this one's going to sit somewhere in between. And the reason for this is because today's video is about something I was kind of just going to do off camera and then I thought, wait a minute, you guys would probably be interested in this. But let me chat through the idea and maybe what you can expect from this video. My friend Debs, I've known her since I was three. She has always been very into style, very into fashion, and I've always kind of gone to her for advice. I have my own personal style and we definitely have things that we think differently about. She's quite daring with her style, but whenever I'm in a changing room and I need advice, she is always the person I'll send a photo to and say yes or no, and I will listen to what she says. She's kind of worked in and out of fashion for a long time. So although at the moment that's not her full-time job, I often go to her for styling advice. Recently I found myself in a bit of a style rut. I feel like I really know what I like much more than I have at any other point in my life but because of the situation and how small my wardrobe is I feel like I need to have better quality things and maybe less of them and oh that's Debs one minute so as I was saying I feel like I need better quality stuff that I know goes together like proper outfits because often I'll think oh I don't have anything to wear and then I'll go online, I'll order something really like adventurous and daring and then I just won't know how to wear it. So I wanted Debs to come over and kind of analyse my wardrobe as it is, help me make outfits out of the things I already have and then write a list of things I need that I'm really missing in my wardrobe. So she came over on the weekend and we kind of did that but what I'm going to do is run through with you guys now what we kind of discussed then, I'll show you my wardrobe. I actually got I think two or three outfits out of the clothes I already have that I wouldn't necessarily already wear so I'm really happy with that and then we made like a really clear list of things that we want to go buy. So I am in my wardrobe, that makes it sound like I have a wardrobe room, it's literally just an open wardrobe and I'm going to show you the situation as it is now. Over here we have dresses and trousers. So I've got a few like really smart dresses, that's fine. Um, I've got this ASOS jumper dress that I tried on again and actually quite like. And then I've got a few trousers and skirts. Over here I've got lots of jumpers, lots of knitwear and a couple of shirts. I think what we realised is I have a lot of casual jumpers and t-shirts because that's mainly what I wear all the time. But then if I need to go out somewhere I don't really know how to have like a smart casual outfit that's not like a dress but it's not a jumper and jeans, it's somewhere in the middle and that's really what I wanted to get more of. So I'm going to show you the outfits that Deb's picked out from my wardrobe, like things I can already wear. Okay, let me show you my shoe situation. I have these from Topshop, which I absolutely love because they're so comfy, I can literally run in them. But because they're kind of suede, they've really, really scratched. So I'm considering buying a replacement if they do things like this. I wore them at the weekend, forgot how much I loved them. So if I can't find a replacement, I'm definitely gonna keep these. These are from Jigsaw, they're my Chelsea boot style. I love wearing these with jeans. These are the only heels I own, which is really annoying because they're very kind of strappy. I have to have painted toes when I wear them, lots of like foot exposed. So if I can, I really wanna find a pair of closed toe heels, but I really struggle to find some that fit me because I'm a half size, so we will see, but that's something I definitely need. And these are my black boots, which are from Topshop, they're sock boots. They do go up really high, so I find with some things I can't wear them, but I really like them. I really wanna add a pair of over the knee boots. I think over the knee boots could look really nice with a jumper dress or skirts. I really want more skirts in my wardrobe and maybe with jeans as well. I think I need to find the right ones that have a little bit of a heel, not too high and not too flat that they look like riding boots. So that's something that's on the list as well. So this is outfit one which Deb's put together for me from my existing wardrobe. This shirt is from Lillian Lionel and I usually wear this untucked with jeans but I'm not very good at tucking things in. She told me to tuck these into these black trousers I have from Zara. I'm sorry that this is the only mirror I have in my flat so it's not great. But they're kind of just like work trousers um, and I'm wearing them with the Topshop boots and that's quite a nice smart-ish outfit to wear. This is outfit number two and this skirt, um, I actually bought this in Amsterdam and I haven't worn it because I just didn't really know how. Debs told me to pair it with my Topshop sock boots which I really like and this ASOS thin knit, slightly high neck top that I have. She said a statement neck necklace would be great to like break this up, so that's on my list of things to get. But I really like this outfit and I really never would have thought of wearing it, but now I've put it on, I really like it. So those are two outfits that we picked out from the clothes I already have, things I don't normally wear but really like, and there's lots of other outfits I can wear, but we also went through and made a list of things I need to get. We basically sat down together and went on ASOS. I'm sorry I didn't film that, but it was on the weekend and we didn't really know we were gonna film this yet. We ordered a load of stuff and I 
I thought I could film me trying on the things. Debs hasn't seen anything yet, so it'll be really interesting to hear her feedback. I got a few tops, a couple of jumpsuits. I kind of went crazy, and I personally love pretty much all the stuff. Normally when I order from ASOS, there's so much stuff that I send back, but I think because I had Debs helping me, we ordered some really cool stuff. There's a leather skirt as well, which I'm not sure about, so I'm gonna start trying things on and showing both of you. Okay, so this is all the ASOS stuff. Should I start with the jumpsuits? Yeah. We got two jumpsuits, one from Whistles and one from... Warehouse? No, something Femme. Femme, Selected Femme. Selected Femme. One's a bit more casual, one's a bit more smart. Thoughts on the jumpsuit? So nice. Yeah? Yeah, I love it. So flattering. This is the Mia Frill jumpsuit from Whistles. I think a lot of people have this. There's like some frills here. It's got the cold shoulder thing, which I like because I think without this, I wouldn't like it as much. Also, it's slightly hold to neck, which I like. It's quite tight on the boobs. I don't love showing off my boobs, but it's okay because it kind of goes out and it's looser at the bottom. And it's got this pleat here, which I think is quite flattering. Oh, it's got a hole in the back, which I don't love, but it is what it is. That's the back. I think I'll definitely keep this because it's good for smart events. Which shoes would I wear with it? The problem I always have is what shoes to wear. This is what the Topshop boots look like with it. And I think they look cool. And I think I could wear like strappy heels if I want to make it really smart. I think this is what Anna wore to my wedding. This is the selected femme jumpsuit, which I was just saying is less scary to me because I feel like it's quite casual and I could wear it at trainers and be quite like Scandi. You like it? Yeah. And you could put a jumper on it as well. Really? Let me show you guys. This is the jumpsuit from Selected Femme. I love that it's got pockets. I love that it's like t-shirt style and it's in this kind of thick woven material, is that what it's called? And it's kind of cool. Now onto the leather skirt, which is the one that I know is gonna divide me and Debs because as I said earlier, I feel like I'm way more into like comfort. Debs does dress like comfy, but if something looks great, you'll sacrifice like being a bit uncomfortable because it looks good. Is that fair? Or no, maybe it's not, it's not a thought process. It's like, I just am more fussy yeah. about how comfy something is. So I've got this leather skirt on, which I think looks great. But I'm worried that if I keep it, I won't wear it because I feel like I like can't I walk and it's a bit tight. Way. I'm gonna, Debs loves it, obviously, one minute. Oh, like, I can't walk upstairs. Okay, so wait, this is a whistles top, which we ordered. It's actually kind of beige with navy stripes, but I really like the long sleeves. Do you like the top? I love the top and I love it. I think the top looks really cool and it's a little bit shorter so it's easy to tuck into things which I like. Sorry my boobs look saggy because I'm wearing a strapless bra. This is the skirt. I like it. I just don't know. Like I don't, I can't really walk. I'll show you what I look like when I sit down Debs. One minute. This is kind of what it looks like from afar. I really like it. I'm just worried that I should maybe get one that's shorter and then I can also wear it with over the knee boots if I get them. Yeah. Like look when I sit I don't think I'll be able to eat in it. Yeah. I don't know. I think that's a maybe, and we'll see what we find when we're out today. We also ordered this, to be fair, I ordered this, so the only thing I really don't like is the thing that I picked. It's a long sleeve baby pink top that crosses over, and I really love how it reminds me of ballet, because me and Debs did ballet together when we were three, but it's just so cropped that the only thing I could wear it with is this leather skirt, and I don't know if I'm gonna keep that. So I think Deb said there's something similar in Topshop that's a bit longer, so I think I'm gonna send this one back. Another thing we had on the list is a body, which I've never really thought about getting before, but I like the idea of it like being you don't have to worry about tucking it in so this one is from selected femme it's got this sheer arms with like polka dots and then the black vest built in and it's not backless which i like and i've just tucked it into black jeans which for some reason look like they're bulging open these are the ones from top shop that have these on the bottom i like it i don't know if it's like my favorite thing because of this v i don't know if it's my favorite thing i really like it I'm, it's not like <gasps> but it's quite a, i think it is Quite a good one to have. Quite handy in case I like have a skirt that I want to tuck it into. Yeah. Another maybe. Depends how we get on today. This is a top from, I don't know, I'll link everything that we talk about below in the description box. I love the colour, it's like this blush pink which I'm really into at the moment. And it comes in black too apparently. The neckline's different for me and the length, let me show you. It's actually quite a clever top because it looks like I've tucked it in, but actually it's just, that's the length, which is really handy because then you don't have to worry about tucking things in. I don't normally wear like a low V like this, but I like it and I think the length of the arms is really flattering. Oh my god, I feel like I've got to that age where I start wearing tops with arms this length. Um, I haven't, hopefully. But yeah, I think it's nice. It looks really nice with black jeans. It's great for events when I want to be a little bit smart, but not too smart. I think this is a really good find, actually, and different to other things I have in my wardrobe. Debs is pretty happy about this one. <laughs> Oh yeah, I've got like a long necklace from Biolana. This is a high neck grey jumper that has like detailing on the bottom. So it looks like this. It's got quite a high neck, which I think I could roll down once if I wanted to. Is that allowed, Debs? Okay, so it's got this like frilly detail, which I think is very cute and flattering. And Debs said I have to roll the sleeve up, so I will do that. My boobs don't look great. I need to buy some new bras today. I think this is 
quite a cute little top. This top I already know I love. I've tried it on and it's great. It's from Whistles. It's got this cute frill detail, cold shoulder. It's fitted. It's navy. I really, really like this. I just love everything from Whistles, basically. So that's all the stuff from ASOS. Really happy with it. There's a couple of things I'm not sure about, but me and Deb's are going to go out today to town. Love going to town on the weekday. And we're going to try on lots of stuff. We've written a list. I think that's pretty important when doing something like this. I've put over the knee boots. Bit nervous about those. I don't really want to invest in the Stuart Weissman's ones yet because I don't know if I'm going to wear them all the time. So we're going to look at Aldo, I think. Skirts. Maybe try on some leather skirts. Maybe some other like shorter skirts that I can wear big jumpers with. I really want a Baker Boy hat but they're pretty hard to find. I feel like a lot of them are quite high up. I was speaking to my friend Carrie yesterday. She said she got hers from a random hat website. So we'll see what we find. Maybe a nice jumper dress if I get the high knee boots. High knee boots. Knee high boots. Knee high boots. Smart tops. I don't know if I need that many, but we're gonna look. Maybe try on like a pyjama shirt. Is that what they're called? Pyjama shirt? Maybe like another shirt, like the Lily and Lionel one. Like yeah, and... exactly. Cropped sweaters, statement necklace, that might be hard to find. Bras, I mean, if I have the patience and if I make it down to Selfridges, I hate bra shopping. They're so expensive, but I need a good bra that will like lift these babies up. Leather trousers, oh, I need to add that. Or like leather look trousers. Yeah, faux leather trousers, really want some of those. I think they, like Debs is wearing some today. She's always wearing them and I think they're really useful. Replace Topshop chunky boots, might have a look for those. Belt for jeans, statement. Yeah, that's true, because the only belt I have is like a cowboy style belt. I wore it on the weekend and it really didn't go with the top I was wearing so something a bit easier to wear and that's kind of everything I know it sounds like a lot and I feel like I am going to spend a lot of money but I think once I do this I'll be sorted for a while good staples next step is to head into town we've got a list of things to buy I'm going to bring you guys along with us and I'll see you when we get there we're in Aldo Deb's just said you're very givey uppy which sums up how I shop these are some over the knee boots which we found they've got a little bit of a heel which I like my worry is that they don't do up at the back i've got very skinny legs we'll try but i think i need some that i can tighten so i can wear them on jeans or i can wear them bare legs i'm going to try on the over knee boots and also some heels as well thank you so these are the boots um, my only concern is that they're going to slip down when i walk so i'm going to have a little walk around the shop that's always how i test out the, the feet actually fit me i think i tried these on but um because they are pointy, my toes are just far too squashed. I really like these, but I think they'll slip down and drive me mad, so I'm gonna have a little shop around and see what else there is. We're in office, and they have some over-the-knee boots that have ties on the back, so I'm gonna give those a go. So these boots have a little tie on the back. They're a little bit pointier than the ones from Aldo, but they've got a tiny bit of a heel. This is what the boots look like on. They're a bit like slimmer than the other ones. They're not as baggy. Sorry, the music's so loud. I'm gonna put these on hold. Maybe try on some Stuart Whites and ones just so I know what like the ultimate boot feels like and then I can compare to that. I'm also gonna try these on because they're like a leather version of the ones I have so they won't get scuffed as easily. We're in Topshop and we're gonna look at shoes, hats, necklaces and clothes. There's a lot of stuff in here. Deb has been distracted by this dress. Sorry, I'm very easily distracted. I really love this dress. I told you guys this video was experimental and it's proving hard to like film our little conversations but we basically just come over to the belt. There's lots of belts here and I want one to wear with jeans so we decided to go for this one in a medium to large. It's like a textured leather, like a faux snake skin or something. Yeah, like crop mop crop. Yeah, and then uh, extra small to small in this thinner belt to wear with high-waisted things. And that's kind of what we've decided is like good two belts to have in the wardrobe. Deb's new tactic is to just pick things up without me seeing because she's realized I say no to everything. But brown leather skirts, definitely a no. I'm not a brown girl. But um, we'll see what she's picked up for me. I'm still just holding on to the belts. She's got like a huge pile of clothes in her hand. We managed to get a room in the Topshop personal styling area, which is amazing. It means you can try on all the stuff, take our time, and I can properly show you guys everything I'm trying on. We are in the changing rooms. By the way, Topshop personal styling is amazing. You don't have to pay for it. You just pay for what you buy. It's genius. Okay, we have the two belts that I showed you guys. We have some jeans, which are the Hayden jeans. What are the Hayden jeans? They're like, they're not actually high-waisted. Sorry, I like jeans. Oh. But they're really nice. They're like a nice loose. Fit, but you can pull them up high and then you can put a belt with them. Why are they different to the Lucas? They're a looser fit. We have this floral shirt, short grey top jumper that's attached to a dress, right. an orange jumper. I will not wear this, but it's okay. I hate the material and I hate the colour. Yellow jumper with frills. I picked that. I like that. Leather skirt. So that's shorter than the one I got from ASOS. We're going to give that a go. Pajama style shirt. Can you tell that Debs are trying to get me to wear more colour? Black 
top with like cool sleeves black and white top again with cool sleeves everything's got crazy sleeves and then these leather trousers in a light gray just to see and then deb's got some stuff to try on as well these are the jeans i wasn't expecting to buy jeans today but these are pretty cool actually because they kind of go straight down because all my other jeans are either really baggy or really tight and they're just a different fit this jumper i actually like because it's got baggy arms which most Batwing. of my jumpers don't have that called a bat wing bat wing and it's cropped but not too cropped and hmm. isn't the color really nice yeah, I think this is cool. This is a top which I'm not going to get, so I'll show you guys. Um, because it's so short, I've got big boobs, a little bit of a tummy, it doesn't really flatter. It's kind of nearly there, not quite right. Nearly there. The colours in the print yeah. is really nice, and the shape here is nice, but it just needs to be a bit longer. This is the leather skirt, and I really like it actually. I think I'll get more use out of this length than the long one. And it's nice, got pockets. Oh, it has pockets! Why is everything always more exciting when it has pockets? Always. We like the top. And I like the sleeves and stuff, but we don't think yellow suits me. And I think this this might come in blush pink, Debs said. This is the kind of pyjama style shirt, which I think I quite like. Debs has just gone to get another size and something, so I'm going to wait to see what she thinks. But I like the print, and I kind of like the length. I think it works with the skirt as well. Something I've learned from this whole shopping experience is that I need to get used to just trying on a size 10. I was trying a 10 and a 12 because I like things to be a bit oversized, but I think most of the time the 10 is more flattering. Just in my head, I'm not a 10, I'm a 12. This is the top in a sort of blush pink. And it's cute. I think I like it. I'm not massively into this part. I love the sleeves. I kind of wish I didn't have that. Yeah, I think it's, it's a good one to have for when I'm wearing high-waisted. Everything's pink in my wardrobe. We're not going to get this, but we've agreed that we love the grey with the pink and also the idea of a cropped jumper with a skirt. It says that this one, as you can see, it kind of falls there. It, for me, it needs to be a bit higher to be flattering, so it's not quite right. This is the weird top with, like, the crazy arms. It's quite, like, fashion-y. Yeah. It's, a bit, it's quite, like, loose around the neck. I don't know how I feel about this one. I feel like it's a head scratcher. Okay, we're done with the clothes. I'll show you what I'm gonna get. We said no to quite a few things over there. Things I liked were the jeans, the leather skirt, the pyjama shirt, the pink jumper. I'm nervous about that one, but I think I like it. And the orange jumper. We just went into Stuart Weitzman because I just wanted to try them on. I actually thought they would be about 200, 300 pounds. I'm sure I looked online and they were 665 pounds. I'll insert a clip now. They were beautiful, so comfortable. They do half sizes. I don't know why other shoe brands don't do half sizes. It's clearly just a designer thing now. So they fit like a glove and I absolutely love them. I just can't bring myself to spend that much on shoes. Like they're gonna get scruffy, they're gonna get put on the floor. And yeah, I can't believe they're 665 pounds. They were nice though, weren't they? They were beautiful, but not 600 pounds each No! I'm just in LK Bennett and Deb's said to come in here because their shoes look really comfy, she said. And she's right, I think I may have found some heels. So nice. they've closed toe and wrap around. They're not too high. So I like that they're closed toe. Um, they're kind of similar to my other ones actually and not too high and they're not too pointy. I think I really like them. They're 185 which is expensive but I feel like it's good to have like one, I mean I tried on some Chloe ones that were fortune. It's good to have a good pair of heels I think. I really like them because they're not too high and they've got this point which makes it really flattering. I think they are great. Good find Debs. She said it's always the places you least expect it. What are the chances? That was such a success. Um, LK Bennett and they do half sizes so I got six and a half which was really helpful. And they were so nice in there. They're so really nice. I've got to the point where I feel a bit sick at how much money I've spent. But I did just say to Debs, what normally happens is I'll get invited to something, I won't have anything to wear, and I'll panic, and I'll panic buy something stupid, and then it'll be rubbish. So, although it's painful spending it all now, at least I know then I'll have a good wardrobe that I can just, like, use whenever. I've come to the Selfridges shoe galleries and come back to office and tried on the over-knee boots again. And they're reduced um, from 120 to 60. So I feel like if I'm going to get over-the-knee boots, I'm might as well, I mean, it's better than 660. I think these are the nicest ones I've tried on so far because they're quite tight on my leg and they're slightly point pointed as well. I think I'm gonna get them. We're now gonna head back home because the second part of this is that I need to get rid of some clothes. Because whenever I buy new stuff, I've gotta get rid of stuff because I haven't got room. So I'm gonna go through and anything that I don't wear, I'm gonna give to charity or my sisters or friends. We're back home and now after buying all the things today, we have like a fresh look on some of those ASOS maybe items. So I'm definitely gonna send back the body. I'm also gonna send back the little pink crop top. The skirt, because we found a shorter leather skirt that I think I'll get more wear out of. Now what we need to do is make room for the new things. So there's four ASOS items there. Let me get the bits I got. Two shoes, and I think I'm definitely gonna have two shoes that I can get rid of. Right, 
now I need to find some things to switch out. I'm currently going through this drawer and this is charity stuff and this is keeps. I've got rid of a lot of stuff that I just don't wear and I don't need. And when I put things back in, I folded them like this so I can see everything. So these are all my t-shirts, vest tops, strappy tops. I've got my no makeup day and lingerie for life jumper and a few long sleeve tops. And I'm also gonna see if I can put any of these things in drawers. This guys is an example of one of those items so I bought these culottes and I loved them. But the day I wore them, it was hot and in the summer, I had a meeting and when I stood up from the meeting, I was so sweaty. I'm one of those people that sweats for my legs. Sorry, that's gross. But you could see the sweat marks and now I'm just too scared to wear them. And Debs is right, you shouldn't really have things in your wardrobe you're not gonna wear because every time I look at them, I just feel guilty that I bought them and only wore them once. But I'm too scared to like risk the sweaty thing happening again. So these are gonna go in the bag. I have filled two bags worth of stuff to give to charity. I give to a shop called Crisis, which is a charity for homeless people. I was just saying how I think most people cleanse their wardrobe and then go shopping, but I actually really like doing it this way around. We kind of assess the wardrobe, shopped, and then Deb's made a really good point that now I've got all these nice new things, I can be a bit more like ruthless and I know what I want to get rid of and what I don't. And I'm just kind of going by the rule of have I worn it recently? And there's a lot of things which I feel like I love and I feel guilty because maybe I haven't worn them as much as I wanted to. But I don't wear them, so what's the point? Someone else can enjoy them. I've got a huge bag of stuff here, a huge bag of stuff here. I'm getting rid of way more stuff than I've bought, so I feel good about that. Look how many free hangers I have, and also so much more space in my wardrobe, so I'm now gonna put all the new things in there. We've sorted out my wardrobe now, and I think I'm gonna leave my shoes and coats to do another day, or maybe tonight when I come back here, because I'm gonna drop Deb's home. But I feel like I've got a brand new wardrobe, and it's so nice to have got rid of so much stuff and have some like pretty new stuff in look there's quite a bit of color going on and like you can tell similarities like that the blues and that got a bit of pink got a bit of orange some more stripes of course but look how much space i have and my drawers are all like tidy now and i'm really looking forward to taking these to the charity shop as well i've got my new shoes there that i need to spray with the suede protector and then i'm going to sort out my shoes in a bit thanks for your help I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna link every item that I bought and talked about in the description box below So go check that out and also check the shop link on my blog because they'll all be linked there as well Thanks so much for watching click here if you want to see my last video and there'll be a subscribe button as well If you want to subscribe and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye